Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to use Google Drive video with Google Sites. My name is Tyler Osborne. So there's various reasons why you might want to use Google Drive to host your videos instead of a service like YouTube. For example, maybe your school division uh, chooses to restrict YouTube access for teachers or students, and this is a workaround around that. Um, or perhaps you just want to avoid some of the ads and uh, the uh, recommended content at the end of the videos. So in order to host a video, first you need to have your website created. So I'm in my 21 um, cent test website right now, and I'm going to show you how to insert this video. Now, you have all the options here from the insert menu, and what you want to actually pick is Drive. So I'm going to click the Drive button, and it shows me my Google Drive, and I'm going to quickly um, navigate over to where I have my videos hosted. So here's one of my geometry lesson videos right here. So I'm going to click on this and then I press the insert button to put the video actually into my website. Now, once it's there, I have the ability to, ability to resize it or click and move it, just like any other option in a website. If you wanna see how to do those things, I have other video tutorials that show how to do that. Now, you're actually basically ready to press that publish button and people will see it. However, there's one more really important step that you can't forget. This video, might not have sharing permission for everyone else. Other people won't be able to see it. So this is a really common error that I see on people's websites. They forgot to share the video with everybody. So to do that, go into your Google Drive in a separate tab. Sorry, I'm gonna get out of this here. There we go. Find the video file that you're trying to share. Now I'm pretty sure I was trying to share that G4-1. Uh, yeah, that's G4-1. Okay, so in order to share this, I have to right click on it. I go down to um, share. And then I go to my advanced options. And on default here, it's not going to be anyone who has the link in view. Go to change. And default will actually be off. Now is where you have to make some decisions. If you just want your students and other teachers to be able to see it, perhaps you do these first two um, at the bottom here, where only people from the school division that you work for will be able to see it. If you want anybody on the internet to be able to see it, my preferred one is anyone with the link. This makes it so that it's not easy to search um, from a Google search to find your videos. However, anybody that you've given access to the website, anybody who finds your website will be able to view the video from the website itself. So I like this one right here, anyone with the link. Press save and then see how it says view. That means they can't easily download it. They could still download it, it's possible, but it's not easy. And then you press the done button. Now I go back to my um, website by clicking on the tab for the website and I could publish it. I'm not gonna publish it. This is just my test website. I'm gonna press the preview button to show you what it looks like. So this is what my website looks like for somebody that comes to visit. And they can see that the video is right there. And if they click on it, it'll actually start to play the video. Welcome to the first now it looks just like a YouTube video um, because YouTube is actually owned by Google. And so the interface is basically the same. They, make, they can make it full screen if they want to as well. Um, so they can see everything nice and big. All right. That's everything that you need to know in order to share a video file uh, using your um, Google site. My name is Tyler Osborne. Thanks for watching.